Hello and good morning. Uh, I am so happy today because I found something I think is too cool. I got I just found these at my local scrapyard, and the guy just said I could just take them. I didn't even have to pay for them. They look pretty heavy duty to me. They're really heavy. I'm assuming this is brass. And it is the number 8550. 8550. And not only that, I found two. <laughs> that is the coolest. And they're both the same kind of lock. They're both 8550s. It was the only two like this. I got a couple other crappy locks like master and this you can tell somebody was beaten on this too by the way if you, yeah you can see all the dent marks they're really trying to get into this thing I, I wonder if they actually got in or not but even this size is banged up I can tell here one two three four five five chambers in there I don't know if you can see that out in YouTube land there's five pin chambers there and I guess that's for the locking paw but anyway yeah pretty cool I'm so excited I can't wait to pick these I had to come right home and turn on the old camera I, I'd like to pick these in front of everybody too that'd be pretty cool I don't know if I'm going to have any success so anyway, this might be a fail because I don't know if I'm actually good enough to pick something like this. Uh, I picked some masters and, you know, some real cheap locks, a couple practice locks, see-through locks that you get off online and stuff, but I've, I've seen a few of these online. I don't think they were this model or number or whatever, but I, I have seen these brass ones online and not too many, like, videos of them. I bet you, if I really, really looked, I could probably find, you know, 10 or 20. But anyways, I want, and it, I, it says right here, Lock Company, Germany. So, Avis's, I guess, are made in Germany. I don't think these are new. I think they're old. He said they've been around there forever, so. Yeah, pretty cool. Two, two new locks for my, uh collection is this is gonna be awesome but first off let's see if we can't pick these this one isn't beat on like the other one either if you look there's some marks on it and stuff but it, it's it doesn't look like this one I noticed it right away could just tell this one's been really hammered on someone was really trying to get in there I think I'm not sure, but I think brass is a softer metal, too. They probably could have just bolt-cutted it or something. Anyway, I'm going to try to pick this nice one first because I'm not sure if this one will even open or... We could see what's up. See if we can't get any feedback from these locks. Let's see if the springs and stuff are good. I'm just going to stick this in, and I'm just going to go all the way up, and I'm just going to listen. So that was only four. I only heard four. I only heard four in that. One, two, three, four, five. Try it again. All the way to the back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All the springs seem to be popping. They all sound really good. Yeah, there's spring tension on the core. I can feel it. 
There's a little bit of spring tension on there. Yeah. So there's five pins. Five pin locks. One, two, three, four. There's only four in. Maybe I'm not getting right to the back on these. One, two, three, four, five. And it sounds like all the pins are working on this one too. Okay, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to use this half a diamond. I think, yeah, uh, let's see if I can get a good view for everybody out there, I'll go all the way to the back, hmm. something I keep feeling like a little a little bit of a bump oh yeah well I think it's open is it open There we go. Awesome. Look at that. Picked an Abus. That didn't seem too hard. Cool. Awesome. <whistles> Heart's just pumping on that one. Let's try the second one. Well, pretty tight in there, I must say. Don't get much leverage or anything. I'm going to readjust here. Let's see if I can't go this way. Sounded like I set one there. It would have been number five, number four. Number three. Look at that. I am freaking on point today. Woo! Loving it. Ever cool. Yeah, they're really tight spring in this core. Holy man. You can just feel it. Like if I let this go, right away. Oh, she's locked now. Ha-ha! <laughs> but I, I feel like I need that song from Queen right now. Yeah, because I feel like a champion. I can't believe I freaking opened these, man. I don't know if that means I'm getting better. Or if these are just crappy locks. But, uh, yeah, I am so happy. Woo-hoo-hoo, finger dance, finger dance. Anyways... Uh, I'm sorry I don't talk as much when I'm picking a lock to tell you what I'm doing inside there, but I'm I'm sure everybody can guess what's going on. I'm I'm just starting at the back and then I'll, I'll, I'll feel the pins from five to one, and then uh, I'm just looking for pins that are harder to push than the others, and then I just kind of touch on them a little bit, and then uh, I I never really stick around in one spot too much. Like if you actually look. 
that when I'm picking up, I'll, I'll push on it and then I'll move, check the other pins. But whatever. I'm I'm just so happy that I got these two two new locks for my collection. I think these are probably the highest end locks I own so far. I'm not exactly sure what these Avises would cost to buy or whatever. I, I'm just happy that I got them for free, and it, it turned out that uh they were awesome to pick. It felt really good inside there, except on the second one, it felt really tight on my pick, but. Other than that, and I was using probably a more medium hard tension. Uh, yeah, it wasn't very light. I was kind of pushing on it because I really wanted to see if anything would bind, I guess. And yeah, anyways, I hope you liked the video. And yeah, thank you to the scrapyard guy for these two awesome locks for free. I'm not. I can't remember his name, and I don't know if he'd like it if I said it online. So I'm not gonna. But everybody out there in Log Smithery Land, have fun. Have lots of fun. And have a good day. Bye.